What is up guys, welcome back to the channel again, glad you are tuning in. So in this video, basically what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be talking about the differences between a C7 Z51 and a non Z51, which would be the base model. Um, I had a someone comment on one of my videos asking, you know, what's the difference between a non Z51 and a Z51 because he's looking to purchase uh, a Corvette C7. Um, so he's just wanting to know the difference. So I'm gonna kind of go over just a few things that I know um, off the top of my head uh, about the differences between them. So if you're kind of in the same boat and you're wanting to uh, buy one too, and you wanna know the differences, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about both those two. I won't really go into much of the higher models, maybe just briefly, but mainly the base and the Z51 model. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel, and let's get underway. All right, guys, don't mind me. I am working out of the garage to do this video as is uh, it's like 30 degrees here in Texas and San Antonio. So if I open that door right now, I'm going to let 30 degree air come in here and it's going to be freezing. It's already like 56 in here right now. But don't mind the daily. That's just my daily right there that we or that I use, you know, for daily driving. Had it for a while. No issues. Great car. And then here's the cool car right here. But anyway, guys, we're going to be talking about the differences between the non Z51 base and the Z51. So as y'all know, my car is the 2014 C7 Corvette Stingray Z51. Now, the major differences, I'm going to start with the exterior first. Okay. Now remember, I'll show a picture of what my car looked like before I put all of the added on arrow and stuff like that. Um, so you kind of have an idea what a, basically a stock Z51 would look like. And you can kind of see in the picture here, uh, I'll have it displayed for a couple of seconds, just kind of showing around. Um, but yeah, the, the stock Z51 will have a Z51 uh, spoiler on the back, as you can see, and uh, it will not have any arrow, no front, uh, front chin spoiler, no Z06 front grill, no side skirts. It will basically have just the Z51 spoiler on the back. And um, that's pretty much about it as far as exterior stuff. No hood vent, or excuse me, hood vent, the little rocker hood uh, piece that you can put on the middle of the hood. It will not have that. So there's a couple of things that you'll see there for that. Now, for mine, obviously, like I said, I'm gonna start with the exterior. So we'll start from the top and work our way down. So I believe the vents here on the Z51, uh, they're functional, um, but I, I, I'm not too sure of if a base has uh, the same ones or not. They, they, they actually might have them, but I don't know if it's gonna flow into anything to cool any you know, cooling systems back in the back for braking or, you know, the transmission cooler or something like that. But I believe the Z51s have the, the functional um, vents right here on both sides. Here's another shot of the driver's side vent. Now, like I said, I could be wrong. Maybe the bases have functional ones too. I know they have these, but I'm not sure if they actually flow into anything to cool. But let me know in the comments if y'all um, know the answer to that one, but I think that's one um, there. Okay, next, let's talk about wheels and tires. So on a Z51 car, uh, it's gonna come with a bigger wheel uh, than the base wheel. So basically on the Z51, you're gonna get a, a 19 by 10 and a 20 by uh, 10, I believe, in the rear. So it'll basically be 19s in the front and uh, 20s in the back for a Z51 uh, car. And you can kind of see that there. Now, even the tires are gonna be different. Um, the base will have, you know, the tires that are more, uh, I guess, all season tires. So the compound will be different. It will not have, you know, more track oriented uh, tires like the Z51 will have. And these have the Michelin, uh, let's see, the Michelin Pilot Super Sports, I believe. Uh, yeah, so it'll, it'll have a much more track oriented aggressive tire than the base will. So that being said, the base will come with uh, 18 inch front wheels and 19 inch 
back wheels, rear wheels. So the base, 18 in the front, 19 in the back, and a Z51 like mine will have 19s in the front and 20s in the back, uh, just to, uh, so you know that. Now I believe that the base will still have the Michelins, but they just won't have the aggressive tread on them uh, like the uh, Z51 will have, basically. So Now I do know that there are some base cars that come with a ZF1 package. Now, don't get that confused. Z51 is an actual, I guess, trim. Um, and a uh, ZF1 is more of an appearance package that you can get, I believe, for the base car. Um, so don't get that confused. ZF1 is like an appearance. So basically, you'll get the Z51 bigger wheels. You'll get the rear spoiler that the Z51 comes with, the, the slightly smaller one. Um, and then maybe, maybe that's about it, I think, as far as the Z51 goes. It's just a few things. It's, it's not much. Maybe the, 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 the uh, tires as well. Um, maybe brakes? Who knows? Um, I don't really know too much about the ZF1, but I know it's just a few uh, appearance things that you can get on there that can make the base look a little bit more like a Z51 stock, Okay. Okay, so now we're going to keep talking about the wheels here, guys. So on a standard base model Corvette, you're going to have about a 12 and a half inch front rotor and a 13 and a half inch uh, rear rotor, I think. Now, once you step up to a Z51, uh, it does use a slightly bigger uh, 13 and a half, I believe, on the front and then a 13 and a half, I think, on the rear. So they're just slightly bigger. Um, on the Z51 and you can tell if you were to compare them side by side they, they do look a little bit bigger But I guess you just get a little bit more braking power because it's more of a track car than a base would so That's one thing that you'll see the difference between those two Now another thing to note as well with the Z51 car you can see that the slotted rotors are, ba are back there and I believe they are slightly bigger than the base model. Now, the base will not have the slotted rotors like you can see right now. Um, and I believe they're just slightly smaller. So the Z51 will have bigger brakes, bigger rotors. They'll be slotted, bigger rims, better tires um, for it being a more track-focused car. Same with the uh, back over here. Um, just bigger, bigger wheels, bigger brakes, slotted rotors. Sorry if you can't really see that, guys. Like I said, I'm in the garage. Um, but the tires are just going to be a little bit wider in the back compared to the front for both. So you'll kind of see that there. Okay, so another thing that I want to point out, I am going to put uh, some pictures up again just to show the difference between the Z51 and the base model. Now the base model, I found a car that looks really similar to mine. It's in the same color, torque red, but you'll see it doesn't have a spoiler on the back. Um, it doesn't have the same style wheels. The base, I believe, comes with two different sets of wheels. There's, a, I think it's a five spoke that has a little, you know, space in the middle um, where the spokes are. And then I believe there's another one that has, uh, I think it's chrome wheels, but there's no space in the middle of the five spokes. So you, you'll know it's a base basically if it has those two sets of wheels, but you'll see in the picture, um, the pictures that the, uh, you know, what, what each of the bases basically have, and then they won't have a spoiler. Sometimes they add a spoiler on, you know, that's part of that ZF1 package that I was talking about, but in general, you'll know if it's a base, if it has basically one of those two uh, uh, wheels on there. But like I said, some people add on, you know, the Z51 wheels onto a base. But we'll, there, we'll uh, you know, I'll show you a couple more things to distinguish, you know, how, what's a base and what's a Z51. Okay, guys. Now along to the, the electronic limited slip differential, uh, I believe will be with the Z51, I think if I'm not... Uh, mistaken. Now, remember the job of the electronic limited slip differential that's included in the Z51 performance package. Uh, remember, that's to constantly make the most uh, torque between the rear wheels. So, you know, the system utilizes a hydraulically actuated clutch that is capable of varying clutch engagement, uh, which being able to respond from open to full engagement in 
you know, very few, very few seconds, <laughs> tenths of a second. So I believe those come standard with it. Not sure about the base, but you know, if it's track oriented, you know, it probably would come with it just to make it better. So for enhanced cooling on the Z51, the Z51 Performance Package also brings integrated brake, differential, and transmission cooling. Models with the automatic transmission or the Z51 Performance Package, which mine has, feature a functional vent on the driver's side of the C7 that directs air over a heat exchanger for the transmission fluid. A similar arrangement on the passenger side directs air over a heat exchanger for the electronic limited slip differential. So in addition, Z51 also brings a unique aerodynamics package, brake cooling ducts, and a unique rear spoiler work to deliver enhanced performance at the track and stability at high speeds. So like I said, track-oriented car, it's going to have a bunch more stuff for, you know, if you want to track it or just, you know, have something that has a lot more than a base would. Okay, guys, so I'm going to kind of show y'all, I'm going to do under the hood to kind of show y'all another difference. Uh, with the base and the Z51, and then I'm going to go inside here so we can kind of talk a little bit inside as well. And uh, we'll just talk a little bit. Now, as far as differences with the interior of a Corvette Z51 and a base, um, there really isn't any, you know, major differences to my knowledge that I know of. Uh, everything should still be the same. Sorry about the darkness, guys. Like I said, I know it's dark, but I'm in the garage, so I'll try to turn on some lights here. Um, everything should still be the same. If it's an automatic transmission, you know, you'll have your auto, you'll have your manual. Everything will still be the same as far as seats go. You know, now I won't go into, you know, the trim levels to, you know, if you have heated and cooled seats. That's just 1LT, 2LT, 3LT. The Z51 has them. The base has them. All of them have them. So, you know, it may be just you know what depending on you know what basically you want in the car as far as heads up display um you know luxury items such as that but you know the if you're wondering about like a steering wheel so the 14s and the 15s i believe had the the round steering wheel on that that rounds out mine had it i switched it out with a z06 style flat bottom one that has the nice grooves right here um 16 and above ended up having the flat bottom from the factory so if you want a flat bottom 16 and above will have that and remember just another little tidbit guys the 2014 c7 corvettes had a six speed automatic if you have the automatic six speed the 15 and above went to eight speed automatic transmission in the in the manual which would be seven speed for all of them but um, just so you know that little tip bit there, I know that's not really, you know, going in difference between a Z51 and a base, but I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. But like I said, in inside the car, there is really nothing changing. So sorry about my little spiel there. Okay, guys. Now, I know if you go in between different trims, like a 1LT, 2LT, 3LT, the leather and stuff used in the cars will vary because uh, I have a 2LT and I've seen guys with 3LTs and the leather is definitely different. So they use different stuff on uh, the material used for that. But from a base and a Z51 for the transmission, at least, um, according to GM, the transmission on Corvettes that have the Z51 performance package uh, includes specific close ratio gearing for more aggressive driving since it's more track oriented. Uh, so that's one little tidbit there. Now, now, as far as the suspension, uh, there is differences there as well com uh, compared to a base. Now, the, the standard, you know, 2014 Corvette uh, utilizes a 35 millimeter Bilstein Mono 2 shocks, while the, uh, the Z51 performance package is equipped with 45 millimeter piston Bilstein dampers for more aggressive body control and track capability so there's a difference there the suspension is going to be more stiffer better just because it's track oriented um now furthermore the z51 is offered with the third generation of gm's magnetic ride control featuring a new twin wire dual coil damper system that reacts 40 percent faster enabling improved ride comfort and body control so i guess with the z51 you're going to have that uh, magnetic ride which I believe mine comes with it as well. And I think maybe it's it's uh, this right here. Once you switch the 
modes on here. I guess that also affects, you know, the the suspension and the steering as well on here. So let me try to get a shot of this. But when you switch, as you can kind of see my hand and the gauge is, is changing. And I'll kind of show you a little bit closer up. So just kind of take a look right there, guys. Look, I'm going to switch it. And you'll have weather, eco, touring, sport, and track. So I guess what, what however stiff you want the steering to be uh, or loose, you, you adjust it. And I guess that will also adjust the ride uh, ride comfortability um, of the car. It's going to be more stiff. It's going to be softer. So that's, I think, another thing that the Z51 has, if I'm correct. So, But let's go ahead and move on. I, I do want to show you all another thing under the hood that basically shows the difference between a base and a Z51. All right, guys, let's open up the hood. Okay, now remember, for those who don't know, this is what a Z51 engine will look like stock, okay? Now, remember, it will not have this logo on there. I put that on there. It will not have painted valve covers, engine covers, okay? The JLT intake, it will not be there as well, but everything else should be stock. So just imagine these are just, you know, the basic grays that you'll see, blacks and grays, gray, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, so now I will post a picture of what the difference is between a Z51 and a base uh, right here. And as you can see in the picture, this is a base car and the base car has a little oil fill cap on the driver's side valve cover, okay? That's the difference that you tell it's a base or a Z51 um, because now if we go back to mine, there is no engine cap that you would, un you know, you would take off to put to fill, okay? There is nothing on this side. It's, it's empty. It's on that side over there. So let me go over there. Okay, guys. So here it is right here. Instead, it's right here. Now, remember, the Z51 has a dry sump oil system, whereas the base car has a wet sump oil system. That's a two big differences between the base and the Z51, okay? Because it's track-oriented, they need a dry sump versus a base, which is not track-oriented and it has less stuff on the car. It's fine to have a wet sump oil system. Okay, guys, now remember... The Z51 Stingray features a dry sump oil system, resulting in the prevention of oil starvation at high G loads and a lower center of gravity. Both qualities import to a sports car such as this Corvette. So that is basically what a dry sump oil system is. It's for tracking use, stuff like that, so that way it's not being starved of uh, oil and high cornering and doing all the fast stuff. <laughs> Now, when doing oil changes and stuff like that, it does have two drain plugs, okay? The base only has one, the Z51 has two, because you basically have two uh, oil, you know, oil drains uh, for the oil to, to leave the engine so you can fill it back up, okay? But otherwise, guys, basically the horsepower, I believe, for the base and the Z51 are the same I believe it's 460 horsepower and 460 torque. Uh, you can correct me or, you know, if, if I got that wrong. But I believe for the base and the Z51, it's 460 uh, along the boards or 455, something like that. It's basically 460, 6.2 liter LT1 engine, not LS, LT1 because it's a direct injection uh, motor. Okay, they changed it. So it's LT1 and it has a direct injection motor on it. Um, but everything else I believe is pretty much the same. I mean, it's going to have the same bumpers, um, just minus, you know, the spoiler on the back wheels, etc. Uh, if there's anything else I missed as far as, uh, the difference between the Z51 and a base, I hope I didn't miss it, but I hope I covered mainly the main points, the big ones. So if you're, you know, wanting the kind of a sporty, more sportier look and you want the extra stuff, you know, as far as cooling and bigger brakes and wheels and, you know, stuff like that, if you plan on tracking it or you just want to have, you know, that extra stuff just in, you know, future case you ever go take a drag racing or, or tracking it, 
buy the Z51. If you have the extra money and you just want to, you know, you want that stuff, go ahead. If you don't really care about it, you're not really going to track the car or you're more on a budget, then go with the base. I mean, you can't go wrong with either. So, I mean, people, I've, I've got buddies who've got bases and I got buddies who've got Z51s. Both are happy with basically either one that they chose. I got a buddy who's got a Z51 seven speed. He put an LT4 supercharger on his, makes great power, competes with Z06s. So I'm probably going to do the same thing in the, in the future. And, you know, I've, I've, I've seen people with bases put LT4 swaps, uh, LT4 superchargers on a base model. And they're making really good power and they're having fun with their car. So, I mean, it's really just how much money you want to put into it, basically. So just because you have a base doesn't mean it's, a you know, oh, you got the base, you got the boring car, you got the lowest model. Remember, guys, there is you have a Corvette at the end of the day, and there's tons of people who would love to financially own a Corvette. You know, sometimes it's money. Sometimes it's, you know, it's other things. Maybe they just can't in life right now. They got too many cars. I mean, dude, it's whatever. There's there's tons of stuff that can cause someone to not being able to have one if they want one. But a Corvette's a Corvette, and whether it's a base, Z51, Grand Sport, Z06, ZR1, it doesn't matter. Corvette's a Corvette, and you're part of that community. You're part of that group. You'll always be cool, and you know uh, I'm not speaking on Mustangs or anything else like that. I've owned Mustangs and stuff like that. I'm just I'm only talking about a Corvette. So if you're looking and you found this video, you know helpful, trying to decide between you know what's the difference between a base car and a Z51. The base car is the lowest that you'll be. Z51 is right above it, and then there's Grand Sport right after that, and then there's Z06, and then there's ZR1. So a base. A C51 and a Grand Sport are all the naturally aspirated all-motor cars, okay? The Z06 has the upgraded uh, LT4 engine with the supercharger. But the base Z51 and Grand Sport will all be naturally aspirated cars, okay? Uh, the Grand Sport will basically kind of look like this, uh, only will have different wheels, bigger brakes, uh, you know, it'll have wider front and rear fenders. It'll just have a little bit more than the Z51 has. Basically the same engine. Um, you know, all the aero, it usually comes with all the aero from the factory. Uh, you know, maybe just a little bit better on the suspension and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of like that, but... All right, guys, I hope that video helped you. Like I said, I try to give as much information on the differences between a base and a Z51. So hopefully you all watch the whole video and you will know the differences between them so you can decide whether you want a base or a Z51 or something higher. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll do the differences between a Grand Sport and a Z06 and a ZR1, all, you know, the higher models. Um, but anyway, guys, this is the Rogue Vet. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and until the next one, peace.